Papa, you want a, want a cookie? Not right now, just a second, buddy. Oh. Uh-oh. Check engine lights on. All right, so I got a 2005 Hyundai Santa Fe 2.7 liter engine. They had a check engine light. Uh, had, took, it to, took it to AutoZone to get the uh, error code checked, and it was a P0150. For the O2 sensor, Bank 2 sensor 1, um, and the way you determine what Bank 2 sensor 1 is, is you face the, so you want to face the engine that side that has the belts on it, and then the way AutoZone finds their sensors is, they call it the right and left side instead of bank one and two so right side is bank two left side is bank one and then sensor one is upstream is what they call it so upstream is the one that is before the catalytic converter and then if you got uh, sensor two it would be downstream which is after the catalytic converter but this one is uh, bank two right side sensor one upstream so it's the one that's between the uh, engine and the radiator up front here that is bad so P0150 I'll show you how to change it out but first I want to give you some warning I used a Bosch O2 sensor first and right here is the, um, the O2 sensor. It's a Bosch 15655. And after installing it, it took 121 miles. And then the check engine light cleared. But then it came back and then it cleared and then it came back and cleared and came back and cleared. And, uh, and so. I thought there was something else wrong, took it to Firestone, they charged me $300 to um, flash my memory on the uh, on the computer. Didn't fix the problem and then they ended up telling me that the new sensor I put in was bad so I replaced it with another Bosch sensor, did the same thing and then I ended up having to replace it with this uh, NTK uh, sensor which is part number uh, 25180 this one was 12499 um, it is more expensive than the Bosch but the Bosch will not work um, at least it's not working on my 2005 Hyundai Santa Fe so I would highly recommend to get the more expensive one uh, this one right here and not the Bosch because he, I ended up spending $300 for Firestone just telling me the new sensor I put in was bad so in the video I'm gonna be installing the uh, the Bosch sensor so just ignore the fact that that's a Bosch sensor that I'm installing but this one, when I installed it, the um, check engine light went away just after uh, a 20 mile drive. I, I drove it for 20 miles, shut the engine off to go to the gym, came back and started the engine and the check engine light went away. So a good sensor, the check engine light went away right after my first drive pretty much, um, first drive of 20 miles and the Bosch took a lot longer so do not make the same mistake I did and but in this video I'm going to show you how to change the sensor um, and you'll see me installing the Bosch which I eventually took out and installed this one so I went to AutoZone to get the 
uh, engine code checked out and they said it was the bank 2 sensor 1 O2 sensor which is right there between the radiator and the engine so I got myself a new sensor this uh, fancy tool with a gap to take it out and some anti-seize okay so the, the here's the plug and right there is a bracket that it's kind of hooked on that was hard to get off uh, hard to get it off of so it's typically slid onto that bracket like that right there okay I'm gonna go ahead and slide my fancy tool on that gap allows you to get it over the uh, wire and then All right, so I'm gonna slide a piece of cardboard down in there to uh, help keep myself from hitting the uh, coil here because the bend's real easy. Those uh, bends. Yeah. Okay, right, so I got my protection. Get my monster of a ratchet on there. All right, so I got my wrench on there with this fancy special tool and just barely enough room to, to get this done. So just try to do it without smacking the grill too hard. You okay, buddy? And then just be careful that you don't burn your hand if the engine's hot. Because the engine uh, the exhaust you're wrenching on right there and it's pretty hot. Yeah, so I got it out. Um, it was a little tight, but not too bad. The special tool helped out. And I uh, didn't hit anything and bend anything, so it's time for uh, put the new one in. So, oh, about anti-seize, but this came with anti-seize on it already, so thank you, I guess. At least I got some anti-seize. Alright, so I got the new one back down there with the uh, fancy tool and the big wrench. So, let's go ahead and put some tension on it. Um, Rocco, where are you going? Rocco! Okay. So, we'll put some, tighten up the sensor here. Don't need to put a whole lot of tension on it. Just try to make it as snug as you can with the room you got. <clears throat> Not breaking anything. Okay, so it's plugged in and it's tight, and uh, just have to get it back on that fancy, fancy latch there. So I'll go ahead and do that real quick. What did you do? I, I gotta put it on the on this latch, buddy. A fly. Oh, is there a fly? Uh oh. Can't have that. All right, so it's slid on there. Ouch! A little hot spot. If you want to see how it how it's on there, probably need to get the wire moved out of the way so it's not touching anything. Yeah, Bronco, can you say I help? Yeah, good job. Thanks for helping, buddy. Looks yeah. like you've done a good job. Yeah. Now let's put them all back. <laughs>